Hey guys, this is Becca from Chalkboard Creations. Today we're going to talk about how to add group work to Google Classroom. It's a fairly simple procedure, however there are a lot of settings that you need to make sure you get right to make sure this works. The first step is to make copies of your original template for your students. I'm going to use the Iron Chef Edgy Protocol template today that I created. If you've never heard of Edgy Protocols, make sure to check out the book. They have some amazing templates for you. The link is below. For this particular assignment, I want the groups to be four students each, and each student will have their own slide on the slide deck. Now, the way that I normally organize my Google Drive is that I star original templates. This way, after I use them in Google Classroom and it makes all the copies of them, I can find my original. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what all of my groups are going to be. For instance, if I have 24 students in my class and I want them to be in groups of four, I need to have six copies of this template. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a copy. After it's made, I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to right click again and rename it. I'm going to get rid of the copy of and I'm going to actually add the kids' names at the end of the, um, the title of the document. This will help me stay um, organized later. Now I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to go ahead and make um, six copies. Now I have all six copies right here, and then I have my original. Each of the copies has the name of the students that are going to be in that group. You might also notice that I have numbered this assignment, hashtag 56. There's a great article below by Alice Keeler about the benefits of numbering each of your assignments in Google Classroom. And uh, since this is all one assignment, even though there's lots of copies of it, it all has the same number in my Google Drive. The second step is to actually add the assignments to Google Classroom. I go to create an assignment. I'm going to name my assignment the name of the document, but I'm also going to actually add the student's name into the title of the assignment. This is because as a teacher, I'm actually going to be able to see all of the different group works in different assignments, but the students will only see the one that they are assigned. Okay, I'm going to add some directions, and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to attach the document that has those kids' names on it. So I think it was down here. All right, it was these kids, add. This is why I added the kids' names at the end, so to make sure that they match. Okay, I also need to make sure that I say that the students can edit the file. I can add a due date and a topic, but the thing that I always seem to forget is up here. You need to click on this um, triangle, off click the all students, and then make sure that those four students or however many you have in your group, students are um, clicked so they get assigned the document. Then now I can assign it, I can um, schedule it, or I can save it as a draft. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other students. Other, the other groups. I'm going to go to create and I'm going to reuse the post. That's the easiest way to do it. But you have to be very careful. When I go to click that and I go to reuse, I have to make sure to change everything for my new students. So I'm going to need to change the name of this, uh, the, the title of the assignment. Okay. I'm going to need to get rid of this file and I'm going to need to add the, the, the new one for the new group in my Google Drive. And then I'm also going to need to make sure that the, right, the correct students are um, checked for this one. And then I would assign it. And then I would do one of those for each of the groups that I want to uh, work on the project. Here's a bonus pro tip. Move your student work to the Google Classroom folder. So when you create these six or seven or however many assignments you have for each group, in Google Classroom. Google Classroom creates, this is my folder in Google Drive, Google Classroom creates a folder for each of those assignments, which means you end up with a lot of folders in your drive. 
Well, if I click on these um, folders, they're actually empty. Um, the reason why that is is because I it didn't make a copy of something. I actually added them to a document I had already created. So to limit the number of folders, I normally go in and I will delete all but one of them because they're all empty. They don't have any student work in them. I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to take this one, the one that's left over, and I'm going to rename it. Just uh, getting rid of all of the names. Now I'm back actually in my history folder, which is where I actually created the template originally and where I made all those um, copies at the very beginning. This is the ones my students are actually working on right now. What I do, and you can do this before um, they work on them or after, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to move, I'm going to move them to my classroom folder and put them actually in the folder that I just created. I would go to classroom, I would go to my classroom, and then there it is, hashtag 56. That kind of keeps your drive cleared out and it keeps all of your student work together. Thanks for listening. Make sure to check out my blog at chalkboardcreations.com for more tips and ideas for your classroom.